play. However, at a suitable juncture, I shall create a distraction, allowing your merry band to swoop in and rescue Her Highness. A distraction, eh? Uh, and how do you plan to do that? With this. It is a sorcerous stone that, upon firm impact, emits a most dazzling light. I shall cry out, by the light of the sun, and by these words shalt thou know to enter. The princess knoweth well this praise. Tis one we have long since settled upon, and by it shall know to close our eyes full tight. Nice. So we just wait for the signal, then it's go time, right? Precisely. I shall be counting on you.
still no sign of him. Where is the use of old fart? Calm yourself, Dag. Becoming flustered at a time like this will only benefit our enemies. He almost got the better of you, it is true. But you will prevail in the end. You always do. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. And when I do, we'll have the wind crystal. And that little beauty's gonna make the both of us filthy, stinking rich! <laughs> you do not care that your actions might bring about untold calamity. Ah, pull the other one! That calamity stuff's just a load of bulldust some drongo made up so they could keep the crystals for themselves! I can assure you that it is no such thing. You have seen the state of the oceans for yourself. Does that not concern you at all? Ha! <laughs> it couldn't concern me less, you madge. It'll take more than a couple of waves to put me off making the big bucks. Ugh! Oh, how can you possibly be so short-sighted? Let's stay focused. Hmm.
Welcome, me, villains. I have brought to you the fabled jewel as requested. Now, prove that thou art as good as thy word. Allow the princess to go free. Not until we have seen the crystal. Dag. On it. The back, rogue. The princess. Release her unto me. First the crystal. And please, do not try anything foolish. Your precious princess will only suffer all the more. Come on, Gramps. Hand it over. Oh, very well. The Princess Gloria, by the light of the sun! Ah, the eyes! Go, go, go! You okay, Gloria? It's you. Thank you. Yes. This way. Princess, thou art unhurt, I pray. I'm quite all right. Thank you, Sir Sloan. Can we leave the pleasantries for later? We need to get out of here. Good. Did you really think we would not be prepared for some manner of cheap trickery? So sorry. And you know, we really would have let you go unharmed if you had handed over the crystal as requested. But that is out of the question now. You have upset us, and therefore we must teach you a lesson. A very... <laughs> Too bloody right we must! You've half blinded me here! Oh, for goodness sake! Pull yourself together, Dag. I'm uh, uh, just a bit blindsided by these Drongo's dirty tricks, is all. You'll pay for that! Damn! It can't end like this. We were so... What the? Can it truly be? You. You. Wait. That's the voice I heard after I fell into the sea. Hear me. I am wind. The, the wind crystal? So that thing Sir Sloan was carrying is... It is. It was I whose breath bore you to this place. But there were those who would have seen you sunk forever. You cut your life's thread short. What? Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me I died back there? I am. But you are here now. Your thread retied. Rewoven. My power made it so. And now it is time to choose. Embrace oblivion and allow the coming of calamity, or make a stand and fight for your survival. Should you choose the latter, you need only step into the light. If you seek the sweet release of death instead, you need only wait for it to wrap its arms around you. What just happened? What was that light? A river.